Hi guys, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I am super excited that I get a chance to talk to you about my Pillow Talk book. I'm at Fat Quarter Shop Studios and we're making beautiful videos to help you go through the process of making your own pillows. The pillows that I want to talk to you about it today is pillows made with English paper piecing techniques. Oh, how much fun you can take those with you when you're traveling this is a handwork i love doing some handwork in my spare time when i'm relaxing and enjoying a little bit tv or like i said when i'm traveling this one gives you an option to enjoy all of the colors from our beautiful collection um, laundry basket favorites or linen texture. Those are the fabrics that we have right here on a table. To make this pillow, we have prepared a beautiful kit. I have the kit right in front of me. There are two pillows that I'm gonna show you. One has hexagons, one has 60 degree diamonds. You wanna see the hexagon one? I can tell, hold on, it's coming. Yes, we're gonna talk about that one as well. I chose the 60 degree diamond to work with you on it today because it's less popular one and I wanted to show you how I do it. A lot of people know already how to do the flower one and we will talk about that one as well. But this one, I thought I'd break it down to you to a smaller unit and see if you would like to make that one. So for this one, what I like to do is you can cut your own fabrics. You're gonna use templates to cut your own fabrics. And we have both the hexagon template and the 60 degree diamond template. Once you cut your fabrics, you're gonna be ready, set, go. I'm going to use a kit and I unpack some of the pieces out of the kit already on my table. In the kit, you have all your fabrics pre-cut as well as you have a strip for the top and the bottom. The hexagon kit has all of the beautiful hexagons in it, but one of the most important things that you're going to use today is our uh, paper. And we have both papers for the hexagons as well as the 60 degree diamond. The hexagon, I'm gonna put it to the side because one thing at a time, and like I said, I wanna show you the 60 degree diamond. This is a little different size, one and three quarters. So it's a custom made paper just for our pillow. And on the back of the paper, I put little cute notes for you, hoping that you have some fun stitching and read the messages and enjoy a little bit of a quiet time. So what you're going to do is you're gonna lay out your whole pillow and then you're gonna separate into a unit called tumbling block look at this i already started laying it out and now separate to low units like this i have one front of me right here and what i like to do is flip the fabric this way and go ahead take some of my paper okay place it right over and this will be my first block that I'm going to be making. Next step, I'm going to grab my glue and I like the sew line glue. I hope you enjoy that one as well. And notice how I position all my, all my diamonds in the same uh, uh, row because it's going to be important that when I put my glue on the left and the right first, just like this, I go ahead, roll it around the edge, then turn it over this other side, roll this edge, notice this. I'm gonna finish now this side, left and right, I always start at the same sides because, and notice it right here, I fold this corner, but I left this point just sticking up. This is going to be in the back of my project in the seam allowance, right this. So this is my first one. Okay, then I'm gonna go for the second one and 
all those points gonna be spinning the same way so when I'm sewing my blocks together they're gonna lock it really nice you want to see one more let me show you one more so we repeat that we don't have to rush this is a handwork so we have time notice it if this is shifting and moving nothing wrong with putting little glue in the back of your paper and then placing it down because then it's not gonna be shifting. I tell you, any help I can get, I'm taking it. So roll it around the edge. Now roll this side around the edge, really nice. Oh, need a little bit more glue. You don't wanna do it too much, but you wanna do it enough that it sticks. All right, now let's do this side. I like to do this when I'm traveling because it gives me something to take with me on my trips. When I go and teach classes at different quilt uh, guilds and do presentation, this is really nice to take it with me. Sometimes in the evening I get to stitch one diamond. Some evenings I get to make the whole tumbling block, but little bit by little bit I get things done. That's how you do it. Notice it. Do you see how this little extra fabric is going the same direction? This is going to be important because when you start sewing your pieces together, look at this how they don't fight each other they just nest together so i can place those pieces really nice and speaking of placing pieces i started once for you right here i'm making a block right here so what i want to do is add this to this i already went ahead and took the first two diamonds put them right sides together with a beautiful needle and I like to use sharp needles so I'm gonna use a sharp needle you can use orifil thread or silk thread anything you would prefer I'm using an orifil cotton thread 2370 because this color went with all the colors and I didn't have to switch back and forth and all that I'm gonna do is just using a little whip stitch and holding my pieces nicely together let me get you back here and i love to use those little clips to hold my two diamonds together so they're not slipping and shifting that way i don't have to hold this really tight with my fingers and get pain in my thumb no i just gonna hold it very gently and do a little slip stitch right there and when i come to the end i like to double stitch okay let's show you how to put the next diamond with those so i'm gonna open it up like i said i'm gonna put this needle for a second in here this i want to set it in here notice it how nice my little extra fabric just hanging right there i'm gonna match this to this i'm gonna place it right there just like this okay i'm gonna take my clip pin it hold it in place and now with the gentle stitches little bit mu music on my radio i can sit on my front porch and relax and enjoy a little bit of a stitching i'm not pushing squeezing too hard i'm just trying to grab a little bit of fabric right here from both of the pieces and stay nice and close together you don't want to go through the paper you just want to grab a little bit of the fabric and take your time guess what i have been working on a quilt for last two years because i take it just on my trips but i just love it it's not about going fast it's about enjoying the journey and english piecing gives you that option so as i would be stitching eventually i finish it up open it up and this is all put together now i want to sew this to this all that i would do is fold this diamond down do you see what I did? And then clip it for myself and beautifully stitch on this side. And in no time, 
I'm going to have a little tumbling blocks and those tumbling blocks will be sewn together into a row so this seam to this seam and then slowly one area at a time and you will have a beautiful pillow to enjoy and take it with you to share with your friends to show it how nice you did as soon as you finish rows of tumbling blocks there would be a strip that you're gonna add to the bottom and the top on the sides right here you're gonna have half diamonds and a quarter diamonds as well as here there are half diamonds and you just work with those what i like to do when i do half diamond i take my paper let me show you and with my rotary and a ruler i can cut my paper down to make a half a diamond or cut it down to make a half this way and use it from the package so you can make a smaller units i hope you enjoyed this one and i cannot wait to show you our next pillow what it is our flower garden pillow oh isn't that adorable can you imagine all your fun little scraps in that one you can cut them out from a little charm pack lay a cake go to your stash do all different color flowers this time we're gonna make a one flower at a time sew them together and remember one area at a time there really is not a magic to it i like to make the flowers and so the flowers to each other sometimes you can do rows let me show you the rows are this way where you have a row of diamond and you sew the rows of diamonds here and then you go zigzag this way i like to do a flower at a time it makes me feel nice when i package them on the road and take a one flower at a time with me so this one is another one that you can practice english paper piecing you, if you have enjoyed this video please sign up for the youtube channel for fat quarter shop and also visit some links in the bottom of the video for more information about the products and different things that i have showed you and i hope you get a chance to visit my youtube channel at laundry basket quilts as well happy quilting